we are counting 1 to 20 we are counting 1 to 20 and that is how we count them how are you it's your teacher Anansieta. welcome to easy limo learning simplified multiply multiplying using arrays what are arrays if someone can tell me what are arrays Arrays is multiplying, making a multiplication sentence using the, how do we call these ones? When you divide like this, these ones are the columns. These ones are the columns. The ones that are running from up, down, up, down. The ones that are running across are the rows. So we are saying the ones that are going up are the columns. And the ones that are going like this are the rows so when i use the columns and the rows to make a multiplication sentence that is what you're saying multiplying using arrays for example here i also have these are my columns columns like that then when i come like this these are my rows 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 so you're counting the number of columns Multiply by the number of rows. You make a multiplication sentence. And that is what we say, multiplying using arrays. So when I look at my column, how many columns do I have? I have this column 1, column 2, column 3. So I'll say I have three columns. And how many rows do I have? I have row 1, row number 2, and row number 3. And I'll have three rows. So how many balls do I have all together? I just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I have my multiplication sentence. When I look at the pink balls, look at the pink balls. Let's see how many columns we have in the pink balls. Someone help me out. Yes, Janet. How many columns? One, two, three four five we have five columns of pink balls and how many rows of the pink balls we have row number one row number two and row number three and now we have to count to get the sum of pink balls and how do we go about it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So how many pink balls do I have? I have 15 pink balls. Someone to help me do number three? Yes, Johnny. First, identify the number of columns. Very good. How many columns do I have? One, two. I have two columns. Then what am I multiplying with? The number of rows. How many rows do I have? I have one, two, three, four rows. So how many green balls do I have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight green balls. What if someone comes here and does this? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we have someone adds here i have done this an example and i want someone now to try it on his own teacher adds here another row another row another row another row, row, row. and we see what will happen good so this is your homework then the teacher also comes here and adds here another column and you're told now fill in from the from the sentence this multiplication sentence from the multiplication sentence and what the teacher does here is to reduce the number of and he says, now grade threes form the multiplication sentence. That is what you're carrying home as your assignment today. So tomorrow when we meet, we'll be doing something else. And I hope, 
I will see all of you tomorrow during the lesson. It was nice having you around and I want to wish you a blessed day. Thank you.